In this video, we're going to cover how you find the least common multiple, which we can also call the lowest common multiple, for LCM. The lowest common multiple of a set of numbers is the smallest number that is a multiple of all the numbers in the question. So to find it, we can just list the multiples of each number and pick the smallest number that occurs in all of the lists. For example, if we wanted to find the lowest common multiple of 6 and 10, we'd write out the first few multiples of 6, which are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and 36, and then do the same thing for 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Then we'd look at both of these lists and find the first number that occurs in both of them which is 30. If we had carried on going though, we'd have seen that 60 also occurs in both of the lists. So 60 is also a common multiple. However, because 30 is a lower number, 30 is the lowest common multiple, which is what we're trying to find. This point is actually really important, because one of the shortcuts that some students take is to multiply together the numbers that we're looking at. So in this case, they would multiply together 6 and 10 to get 60. This technique will always give you a common multiple, but it won't always be the least common multiple, which means that sometimes you won't get the correct answer. So it's much better to use the technique that we just used and list out all of the multiples. Have a go at doing the same thing for this question. So here, we've been asked to find the least common multiple of 5 and 8. So the first thing we need to do is list out the multiples of each, which are 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on, or 5, and then 8, 16, 24, 32, and so on for 8. Then if we compare these two lists, we can see that 40 is the only multiple that's common to both lists. And therefore 40 must be the lowest common multiple, or LCM. Now sometimes this technique can end up taking ages, particularly if the numbers involved are quite big. If we have the prime factors of each number though, then there is an easier way to do it. For example, in this question, we're being asked to find the lowest common multiple of 28 and 42. And we're given the prime factors of each one in the question. To find the lowest common multiple, we have to look at the prime factors of each one and multiply together all the prime factors of both numbers. But importantly, if a number occurs in both lists, we only count it once. So because there are two of these twos here, we'd only count one of them, and we can cross the other one out. Whereas we'd include both this two and this three. And then because the sevens occur in both lists, we again only include one of them, so we can cross one of them out. And so overall, we end up doing two times two times three times seven to get 84 which would be our lowest common multiple. And if you want to check this, we could have a look at these two lists, which are the multiples of 28 and 42, and you can see that 84 is the one that occurs in both. So it is the lowest common multiple. One thing I want to say here is don't worry if you're finding this a bit confusing at first. It is a kind of odd concept. And the best thing to do is just to practice a few questions, and after a while, you'll get used to it. Let's try one more before we finish. So this time, we're trying to find the lowest common multiple of 132 and 420. Just like before, we need to look at the prime factors of each, and cross out all the ones that are the same in both lists. So we can cross out this 2, this 2, 
and this 3. Then we multiply together all of these numbers that we have left. So 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 7 times 11, which would give us 4,620 as our lowest common multiple. And that's everything for this video. So cheers for watching, and we'll see you again soon.